Hey, how we doing? <sighs> Using a soap sample today, so I've got my pedestal ball from Giles Shaving, and in the bottom there, you can see the sample. It's based on Tom Ford Noir de Noir. It's Lothar Black, which is available from the Razor Company. Sample sent to me very kindly by Chris. Thanks a lot, mate. So I've used Lothar in the past. I'm not sure which base this is, whether it's version 1 or version 2. <coughs> but we shall crack on with that lot. Right, Razor and Blade. Razor is a Merca 34. The 34C HD, as it's called. So a two-piece, non-adjustable. That's it. Turn the bottom, head comes off. And the blade is a uh, the big chrome part of them on its fourth use. I've already marked up the wrapper and it will probably hit the bin after this one from my previous experience with Bix. So there's the blade loaded up on the posts, goes in nice and easy. Drop it all together and just tighten up the, the screw knob at the bottom. There we go. There's the 34. All lined up, ready to rock and roll. It's a lot of people start a razor. It's akin to the DE89 head shape and the weight shaves. Uh, the 89s are probably cheaper. Right, the brush which is soaking is my Razor Rock 400, which is re knotted with a, another Umo super high density. It's the same knot I used last time, but this one's lofted. There's two millimetres difference on the loft. This one's set at about 50 mil. So as you can see, it's wet, not dripping. It's had a good shake out. I'm just going to try and load, load the brush. There's plenty of moisture in it, as you can see. It's just we'll get all the, uh, the soap into the brush, and then we'll. Yeah, really nice scent. If you like Tom Ford Noir de Noir and you have the EDP, EDT, whatever Tom Ford makes and retails it has. And there was 1.47 grams because I weighed it out on a little set of drug dealer scales. Not that I'm a drug dealer, but there's an idea of how much soap there was taken from the sample. Really, it was quite a soft soap, more like cream. It was more body to it than the last one. The holy core stuff. That was a mousse. But yeah, I think we'll uh, take this to the face. I'm thinking we might have slightly overloaded. I know from using Lothar soaps in the past, they're quite thirsty. So this scent isn't available from Lothar, it's made for and direct from the Razor Company. If I remember there'll be a link in the description below. Yeah, I think the matter slightly overloaded. So there was enough moisture in the bush fibres held in the hairs that have been squeezed out to uh, 
produce this as you can see it's more than adequate I like the scent I'm not really a big Ford, Tom Ford fan some of his scents I really like but I haven't got any because they're expensive and I'm a cheapskate bastard yeah. <clears throat> so Merca 34C HD with a big chrome platinum on its fourth use as a razor it feels it's efficient a fully stainless version of this would be excellent as opposed to the uh, Zamak head but even the progressors have the same head so but there's so many new modern stainless steel razors on the market would it be worth bringing a stainless 34 to the market? probably not not for the outlay for the machining and everything else So the 34 retails for about 34 pounds, 35, 30, no, about 35 pounds. You know, honestly, it's a buy it, use it, and forget about it razor. It could be the only razor you need, unless you fall into a a rabbit hole of buying the latest, greatest, and the shiny new shiny things. as they come out and hit the market like many of us do There we go. That's the first pass done. Yeah. With the Merca being relatively mild by modern standards. And if it's your first razor. <coughs> and you're just starting out the waist shaving a decent technique to try until your skin gets used to it it's a double first pass which is a technique I quite like so you basically just repeat the first pass again plenty of slickness on the soap Now that for me, I could go to work on that, obviously not with this part on the mouth because it looks a bit stupid, but if I was shaving or having to shave five days a week, This is a te technique I would seriously consider. As I say, if you're new to wet shaving and you're getting your skin conditioned to having, having a blade dragged over it, it's a worthwhile technique to try. It won't cause you 
any issues, you know, having to relearn angles or anything else. And with time, patience and your technique will improve. I enjoy doing two full across the ground passes, one in each direction. Right, give me the soap back here. Yeah. Again, as a new wet shaver. It's a technique that's relatively easy because it's going across left to right and right to left. I know some would say it's overkill. But if you can do this for a month and have no blood without going against the grain, then you can start learning how to do that and how your skin deals with it. As opposed to diving in the deep end, being all macho, and end up with a face full of newspaper or tissue and cuts. drops of water in the bowl just to make sure we've got it all out yep now this knot is set two millimetres lower and because of that I don't think it works as well I can't really blame the person that made it however it might get re-knotted again with a slightly higher loft Just that amount of buffing against the grain on the top lip is a new wet shaver. You don't want to try that.
it's not big, it's not clever, it will end up in blood. Yeah, that, there's still some here that if I was chasing BBS, but that's a, a damn fine shave, which is what I aim for. As the brush cleaned out, right, quick rinse. No pauses today. I've got everything looked out, I remembered. Yep, there we go. Right, quick simple post shave balm. Uh, Nivea for men. Daily skin and stubble lotion. It's basically Nivea Balm in a different bottle to me. It, it's, uh, it's got a good size restrictor on it, but it is. It's Nivea Balm in a different container, as far as I can tell. There we go, done. So the soap today was Loth of Black from the Razor Company. There's a sample pot there. It wasn't stuffed to the gunnels. It was pretty full Chris, but it wasn't stuffed to the gunnels. There's a sample pot there to show how much it took out, which weighed 1.47 grams when I weighed it. One and a half grams from testing soaps. It's a a nice number to work off and then you get a, an idea about how the soap works as opposed to just loading the crap out of it and not having an idea about how much you've used so you can get a direct comparison soap to soap how much water they take everything else I think that record still belongs to OSP but never mind that's a different story and we lathered up in a, a shaving bowl with it's been a sample from Giles shaving this is one of the pedestal bows with a grip on the bottom and the nodules, the little nipples in the bottom the brush, Razor Rock 400 with a Umbo 24mm super high density badger and the Razor a Merca 34 34C or the HD as it's called, heavy duty just because it's got a weight because of the, the brass construction of the, the lower section. Uh, that's it folks, we're done. we are polished off with some Nivea. Stay safe, stay well. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments, leave them below. Bye for now.